The human nervous system is one of the most complex organ system to ever evolve. Let's get to know the super powerful organ. The nervous system is the body's communication system. It processes everything from sight to taste and interprets the information from its surroundings. Hello and welcome to Isaac Kids. If you are not yet a member of Isaac Kids family, please subscribe to the channel. First and foremost, what is the nervous system primarily responsible for? It is an organ system that is there to send signals from the spinal cord and the brain throughout the body and vice versa. The nervous coordination involves the participation of the sense organs, nerves, spinal cord and brain. Neurons are the fundamental units of the brain and nervous system. Every person's body contains billions of nerve cells called neurons. There are about 100 billion in the brain and 13 million in the spinal cord. Neurons are the cells responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world, for sending motor commands to our muscles and for transforming and relaying the electrical signals at every step in between. Some of these neurons can fire signals at speeds of over 428 km per hour. There are two main parts of the nervous system often called the central processing unit of the body. The first is central nervous system that consists of the brain and the spinal cord and peripheral nervous system that includes all the nerves of the body. Enclosed within the skull, the brain is one of the largest, central and the most important organ of the human nervous system. It consists of three main parts. Forebrain The anterior part of the brain consists of cerebrum, hypothalamus and thalamus. Midbrain The smaller and central part of the brain stem that consists of tectum and tegmentum. Hindbrain the central region of the brain composed of cerebellum, medulla and pons. The spinal cord. It is a cylindrical bundle of nerve fibers and associated tissues enclosed within the spine and connect all parts of the body to the brain. The spinal cord begins in continuation with the medulla and extends downwards. It is enclosed in a bony cage called vertebral column and surrounded by membranes called meninges. The spinal cord is concerned with spinal reflex actions and the conduction of nerve impulses to and from the brain. Next is the peripheral nervous system. It develops from the central nervous system which connects different parts of the body with the central nervous system. Peripheral nerves help us carry out both voluntary and involuntary actions. Like we discussed earlier, a neuron is a structured and functional unit of the nervous system that conducts electrochemical signals. Unlike other cells, neurons are irregular in shape. The different parts of a neuron are dendrite that stretches out from the cell cell body of a neuron and it is the shortest fiber in the cell body. Axon is the longest thread on the cell body of a neuron and has an insulating and protective sheath of myelin around it. An axon can be up to a meter long. Cell body consists of cytoplasm and nucleus. Synapse is the microscopic gap between a pair of adjacent neurons over which nerve impulses pass when moving from one neuron to the other. Nerves are thread-like structures that emerge from the brain and spinal cord. 
it is responsible for carrying messages to all the parts of the body there are three types of nerves sensory nerves send messages from all the senses to the brain motor nerves carry messages from the brain to all the muscles mixed nerves carry both sensory and motor nerves Cranial nerves begin from the brain as these nerves carry impulses to start from the central nervous system. The nervous system also includes non-neuron cells called glia. Glia perform many important functions that keep the nervous system working properly. For example, glia create insulation called myelin which helps move nerve impulses. The brain is made up of many networks of communicating neurons and glia. These networks allow different parts of the brain to talk to each other and work together to control body functions like emotions, thinking, behavior and other activities. Human body, especially the nervous system, is not easy to explain in a few minutes, but I hope I could give you a broad picture. In that case, Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day. Do check out other videos too. Bye bye for now. Have a wonderful day.